De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Iyanifa is alleged to have said to the Oni of Ife that Oni of Ife should never ever challenge the source that is responsible for his being. That um, um, uh, you cannot eat your cake and still have it. Queen Naomi is young enough to be your daughter and rage um, um, Iyanifa spit fire or as Oni of Ife allegedly scamper for safe landing. Now, what is going on? You know that um, the Iyanifa is somebody who is very straightforward. And Iyanifa is um, somebody who has been there. The reason why things went and um, got to where it is right now between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi and everything, you see, um, like um, things are finally, you know, looking up for the Oni of Ife and Olori Naomi's relationship. It happens to be um, because of Yanifa and some spiritual people who have been part of this whole uh, thing. Right now, um, only yesterday, we got a report that um, Ebony had a baby boy. And as a woman, I would say congratulations to Ebony. And we saw um, the celebration that happened right there in the palace of the Uni of Ife. Everybody was celebrating um, and Blow Blow was celebrating. Like, of course, you always see her celebrate and smile and, you know, cheer others up. And we saw everything that happened. But beyond what we are seeing, there is a whole lot, a lot of you know, unanswered um, questions. Um, like nobody understands what is really going on between Oni of Ife, Queen Naomi, and all of these other lorries, especially Ebony. We do know that um, in the last couple of months, like one month now, Ebony and the Oni of Ife, they've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, last week, we got a report that Ebony um, was in the palace of the Oni of Ife, that um, uh, there was, um, um, uh, she had to come briefly. They said that, in fact, when she came, there was a time where she cried about them letting her have um, her, um, children for the Oni of Ife, have a baby, uh, uh, the, her greatest desire, she loves um, the Oni of Ife and all of that, th that. But, you know, this week has come to tell us that there was something um, more um, to that event. Now, um, we heard that uh, she gave birth to a baby boy yesterday, not in Nigeria, in the UK. And as people continue to celebrate, we heard that Olori Nami got angry, uh, moved herself, went to Akure. As we are speaking right now, they said Olori Nami has gone to um, Lagos. Now, um, they said Iyanifa you know, I spoke to the owner of Ife and told the owner of Ife that no matter what you do, you must not play with Olori Naomi. That, you know, everything that we are saying to you now, you might not take it serious until you begin to see what your actions will bring to you on this throne that you are. Naomi is an instrument that was sent here for a purpose. Now, if you want to play games, you want to play politics or whatever you want to play, I'm not going to be a part of it. But it's important for you to know that you are old enough to be a father to Olori Naomi. You cannot continue to play with her like this. You need to come out straight. You need to tell her what you want. Now, um, that Olori Naomi deserves better than the way she has been treated. Because on one hand, KBSC, um seem if all the information we keep hearing is the truth, because I have told you, I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife. I'm a blogger. When I get an information, I bring it here to you. But like I said, it's also my duty to let you know that whatever information you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. Now, um, on one hand, it, it looks as though Kabiasi is on the side of Olori Naomi, as though he loves Naomi more than anything, as though without Naomi he cannot survive, as though he agrees with the fact that people did uh, wrong stuff to Olori Naomi. I do understand that he was, you know, instrumental to some of those things that were done to Olori Naomi because as a husband, if he had said no, nobody would have crossed 
um, um, his head to go and do those things. But then again, with the way he came for Naomi and everything he did, everybody was coming. There was people were so convinced to a point where people started even blaming Naomi for being so high-handed. Naomi should chill out. Naomi should do this and Naomi should do that. But what we are hearing right now with what has happened, they said Yanifa has you know, um, I, I told Oni of Ife that no matter what she does, she cannot play with Olori Naomi, that you cannot play with the source of your being, that Naomi was sent for the sake of Olori Naomi. Now, when Naomi got angry and left, they said Kabiesi went after Olori Naomi, let, trying to let Naomi understand that he didn't know what was going on, that he... um. Uh, he was taken aback as well that there, there was a time where these women were always coming out with pregnancy. Today I'm pregnant, tomorrow I'm pregnant, and next tomorrow I'm pregnant. And so, and you know, Ebony was pregnant and with a, he was very expectant. The last, um, uh, very soon, she came up that she has lost the pregnancy and at that time, of course, um, Oletik had not given birth to a child. So, Ebony, um, only of if that Naomi has the right as a woman to decide what she wants out of her life, that KBSC cannot continue to put her in a place where she cannot go further with her life just because she, uh, like she has to accept, she has to, you know, um, accept what is around her, what she is seeing, just because she knows that if she does not accept it, she cannot go further with her life, that she, as Yamifa, knows a lot of things that Olori Naomi does not know. And she did not know that Naomi did not know until yesterday. Are you hearing me? That Yamifa said she knows a lot of things that Naomi does not know. But until yesterday, when the bed of the, the new prince was announced, she, Iyanifa, did not know that Olori Naomi did not know those things. And right now that she has come to find out that Olori Naomi did not know, she is asking Oni of Ife to tread um, in a way that she would like uh, to be open and allow Naomi make the selection, like choose what she wants, okay? Now, why is Yanifa saying this? We are hearing that Yanifa is saying this because it was only yesterday that Yanifa found out that though Naomi may love her husband, but Naomi um, uh, uh, may have settled to return back to be in that palace to come because she is not seen. You know, because uh, 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 Kabiesi has refused to grant her her divorce, Kabiesi has refused to give her her freedom, let her go. That should Kabiesi put the freedom one side and put other options one side, uh, Nami will be able to choose exactly what she wants. And that would be fairness. That if Kabiesi is not ready to do that, that she will not continue to help Kabiesi, to support Kabiesi at the expense of Olori Naomi, that she will not do that because she knows the kind of spirit that Naomi carries, that when that spirit begins to fight you, that she, Yanifa, will not be able to stand that fight. So basically, what Ianifa is saying is that, you know, Nami has a right to say, I love Kabiesi, even if Kabiesi wants to marry 100 wives and they are giving birth to different children. I want to stay with him because I love him. And Nami also has a right to say, uh, I, I love him. For the sake of Tade Nikawo, we can co-parent in peace, but I want to move ahead and have another life outside um, Kabiesi. Nami has the right. That the only of Ife needs to present Nami with those options, but not put only one option because what Kabiesi has done now is Kabiesi has given Nami just one option, the option of returning back or buying a loan by yourself. No help, no support, no other person. Wherever you go in this world, as long as you remain my wife, no other person can come close to you, no other person can cross you. That Yanifa started saying that's the only option that she is saying now that Kabiesi has given to Lori Naomi. That from what she found out yesterday, that if that is the only option that Kabiesi is putting before Lori Naomi, that she, Yanifa, will not continue to walk. That she knows that from her heart that Naomi may want to stay, irrespective of the circumstances, being that um, KBAC treats her very well. But then KBAC needs to put the options open. Let her choose her option. Let her not be enslaved. Let her not be 
you know, uh, 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 cajole into staying there if she does not want to stay, stay because of some of the things that she, Yanifa, has seen in the palace. Now, a lot of things were made, you know, known to Yanifa yesterday, and they said the woman felt really, really bad. Like she felt really, really bad. And not because they welcome another prince, but because of the way that she thinks Naomi has been left in the dark and treated. This is what we are hearing. I don't know if this information is true. This is what is going on. But do not forget, I will always tell you that um, I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Neither am I related to the monarch. I'm just a blogger. When I get an information, I, I bring it here. And it's also my duty to let you know that whatever information you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.